Hey, what's up and welcome to today's video. I just want to let you know I'm over here shopping at Costco here at the Mall of Georgia. And I'm going to show you what it's like actually going inside some healthy foods that I like to get. Let's check it out. coming in the store it's a big line down so we're just gonna keep walking all the way down until we get to the groceries this is a lot of healthy fruit that you can get uh, in general I'm gonna get some honey crisp apples and there's also a little bit of orange halo some small little treat it's a lot easier to just make your runs over here at Costco because there's so much variety that you can get I like to buy a bunch of them because I'm just going to toss them in the freezer. They're right here next to all the other fruits. And like I said, peel them and just put them in the freezer and you're good to go. I'm see it again. I live and die by these salad kits. So literally, there's usually two bags. I get the Asian cashew or I'm going to do the sweet kale. Go ahead and stock up on these, throw them in your cart. Again, they're in the fresh produce section. And you want to load up on these because that's how you're going to get meat. Very, very, very slow glycemic. You'll hear me say this over and over, they're so healthy for you. I'm kind of sick of the clock. So, you're gonna these bags of cauliflower, awesome. Just gonna get some extra virgin olive oil, put them in the pan, and bake. You'll find that all over here in this section. But I'm a little burnt out on green beans, and honestly, the clock makes me a little gassy. So, not crazy about that, we're just gonna load up on these. About this is the sirloin, man. You gotta get that steak in it. Over here, check it out. Nice, good quality red meat. I'm just gonna grab one of these, 27 bucks. Like I said, I'll probably eat this in a week, but just load it with natural sources of creatine, heck of a lot of protein. It goes great with veggies, and it's a totally complete meal. Usually just stick to salmon because you know tilapia is like a bottom feeder fish. Sometimes I'll get a white fish, but if you look at it, super pink. And so I love the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. So just in the middle of aisles one and two, so come check it out. These are the patties that you want to get. These things are awesome. Kale, mozzarella, I get these things every week. So like I said, look at those aisles. If you can see, it's right over there next to the dairy, the Kirkland Signature Deli. But this is where it's at. You're gonna see all these other processed meats. And yes, this is processed, but honestly, I get my workouts in the morning. So this has got a little bit of sodium and there's tons of flavor. It's easy to cook. You can throw it in a grill, microwave it, boom, it's good to go. It's fast. It's gonna give you a good pump at the gym. Costco has so many healthy options. They got sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. I mean, if you even look in the back, see the only thing's got 300 milligrams of sodium per like three ounce serving. It's not horrible, but again, I'm just not doing it. I got my kind of staple, my standard, but like literally you can come to Costco. We're going into 2020, they have so many healthy options. We also like the organic spaghetti squash. We we'll put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on here. Yum, it's awesome. In general, I'll think it goes fresh. It's chilly, but I'm gonna go ahead and get me one case of these, because honestly, out of this one is, I don't know how many eggs, five dozen eggs. I'm only eating like one or two a day. We'll be my girlfriend and our dogs. So we eat three of these a day, so I'm getting that. And I'm gonna get three cases of these as liquid egg whites. Because again, honestly, when I'm getting like super hungry at night, some dairy-free cheese, liquid egg whites, just pour it in there. Get a little bit of coconut oil, some avocado oil, and maybe a little bit of vegetables with it. And it's just an easy late night snack, plenty of protein, and it's not gonna break the bank, and it's not gonna make you fat. And apple sausages are so good. Literally, Costco is like playing tricks on you. They'll switch up their entire store week to week sometimes. Last time there were the mashed potatoes where they were just actually right next to those chicken patties. So I almost missed them, but you gotta get these. They go great with your eggs. Out of the whole frozen section, I'm really just stuck on my Spencer blend. I'll put this in my smoothies and my shakes, mix them with my bananas, my grass-fed chocolate whey protein. It's freaking delicious. We're gonna do the Charleston Old Rose Coffee. It's organic, and I'm like to try some different coffee every week to every couple of weeks or so. And we're going with this one to mix it up. Gives us a lot of energy. Right, so I haven't bought this in a while, but this is a huge... How big is it? Five pounds? Two five pounds? Oh, wait, let's start that over. But this is 10 pounds of oatmeal. It's gonna last me a while. A lot of times, first thing in the morning, I may do this on heavy workout days, or if my energy's feeling a little low, because I do carb cycling, and that's the basis of my program that's coming out, my cover model body program. 
but I love having oats with my berries. I'll have it with some eggs in the morning. It gives me a ton of energy, and I'll be able to crush my workouts in the gym. So I don't always normally recommend bread, but if you're gonna do it, normally I say Ezekiel, but Dave's Killer Bread's really stepped it up. They got an organic bread, very tasty, and it's probably one of the more nutritious breads out there. It's got a lot of good vitamins and minerals, and it's just a little bit of a healthier option. If you can't quite cut Ezekiel, go with the Dave's. Wild Alaska pig salmon. This stuff is so good, and you'll hear me say it over and over. Mix this with mayo. It goes great on the Dave's Killer Bread, a healthy cracker, and it's just a great, quick snack that's super fast and easy to make and super tasty. Creamy almond butter. Normally I do the fresh ground if I'm going like the Publix or Kroger, but this isn't a bad option. You can either do almond butter or peanut butter. Um, they do have the organic also. It costs a little bit extra, and you know what, honestly, since they do have it, I'm probably gonna get it. So we're gonna get the organic. It's probably just a little bit better for you. Lastly, we're gonna have organic salted butter. Honestly, I'm only doing this with a few things. I'm gonna mix it with the organic almond butter and I'm doing some bulletproof coffee, adding the coconut oil there, and it's to die for. All right, so I just finished grocery shopping. I spent about $272, $71, about up eight or $10 from last week. And this is gonna hold me over all the way Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna splurge on that meal, enjoy myself but this is how I stay on track. So if you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you never miss my latest content. And also go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you like to get grocery shopping and some of the healthy foods you like. So until next time, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Let me in, let me in, yeah. Stay ball.